Lake Superior is very, very important to all people of Canada. This is the largest freshwater lake in the world and it deserves our love and respect. It's so beautiful and it's so welcoming. It has such a historic background. People have been paddling here for thousands of years and we hope those stories come out as stories of the trail. It instills the values of protecting the environment, not only for ourselves but for future generations. This has always been the thinking of First Nations. We have to think about future generations and their rights to this water, to use this water, and to have this clean water for them uh, and for their children. Today we're celebrating the grand opening of the Lake Huron North Shore bike route, which is a component of the Waterfront Regeneration Trust Waterfront Trail that starts at the Quebec border and ends up here like we finally extended the link to Grow Cap in Lake Superior. Four years ago, the Lake Superior Watershed Conservancy worked with Trans-Canada Trail Ontario to implement and oversee a thousand kilometer water trail as part of our national great trail that goes ocean to ocean to ocean. It's the connection to the land and this project has put amenities at 16 main access points in that thousand kilometers making it accessible to people. It's for all people of all abilities, all ages, people with disabilities can utilize this and it's really about independence, ease of use, comfort, safety, for everybody. It's really, really important for everybody to use the water that wants to use it. People with disabilities like to be involved in all aspects of the community, but it's sometimes very difficult due to inaccessible infrastructure. Projects like this means that a new part of our community has opened up and has become accessible to people with physical disabilities that enjoy these kinds of activities. This trail is all about connection. It's the connection to local communities, to our province, to our country, and to the international waterways that surround this lake. This water trail is a connection to building a diverse economy for Northern Ontario. It is a way of keeping youth in the north. It's a way to engage our elders with their amazing stories. It's a way to engage First Nations all around this lake with the historic story that they have to tell of present day to uh, you know thousands of years of being here. And the access points are like this community right here. It's like a hub. People are mesmerized by the experience. It becomes very inclusive. Um, it connects all of our communities. It enables us to, to access different parts of our community. This isn't the only accessible infrastructure that exists. There's other sites along the, the shore moving north. Um, so it opens up new opportunities for everybody, including people with disabilities. I've already given it a go and it's, it's really amazing. <laughs>